Hello? Hello? Where am I? My child, what do you seek? Uh, who is that? I'm just a teddy ear, so... I know who you are. Why have you awakened me? I'm trying to find out how the world started. Can you hear me? To understand life, you must understand your energy. Oh, I'm a normal type of... Oh boy, we got work to do. What's up, Pokemon fans? Mega Teddy Ursa here, and today, we are going over probably the most important origin in the Pokemon world. Today, we are diving into the story of the god himself, Arceus. Energy. That's all we are. Every single living being on Earth share one similarity. We are energy. This is not only in the Pokemon world, even you watching this video right now, you're made up of energy. To learn about the god of Pokemon, one must understand this. Before Arceus, there was nothing but a singular energy. It was a mixture of all the emotions and shared all feelings. When energy is so powerful, it can manifest into matter. In this case, the matter created was an egg. This egg would give birth to everything we know. The god of all Pokemon Arceus was the physical matter created. Before I go any further, I want to put something to rest. There are so many people that believe Mew created all Pokemon. And I get it, although Mew may have been the Pokemon that all Pokemon DNA evolved from, Arceus still did create him. This is in my opinion one of the biggest holes in the Pokemon lore I have run into. And if you disagree, please comment down below. Maybe you could change my mind. Alright, let's get back to the story. When Arceus came to be, he started by creating time and space, in other words, Dialga and Palkia. Because time and space is such a powerful force, a Pokemon was born from the event. A Pokemon we call Garatina, or as I like to think of him, the Pokemon Devil. Along with Garatina, the Lake Guardians were created, and as well as Mew, but many people seem to overlook this. Arceus is the only trio master of two different trios, being the master of both the Lake Guardians and the Creation Trio. After Arceus created these Pokemon trios, he went into an eternal rest. Because Arceus was in an eternal rest, there aren't many recorded events about this Pokemon. One of the few events occurred in Arceus and the Jewel of Life. It was angry at the people of Machina Town for Deimos' unwitting betrayal of it in ancient times, and so it attempted to destroy the Pokemon land. With the help of Ash, his friends, and Sheena, they were teleported by Dialga to ancient times. They directly influenced this event changing the future for the better, so that Arceus would stop its destruction. See, I, I just did it, I called him Arceus. You know how hard it is to say Arceus every time? They did this for that exact reason. Arceus was originally intended to appear in Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum in the Hall of Origin, when summoned using an event called the Azora Flute. However, the Azora Flute was never distributed by the Pokemon Company. It even said when receiving the 20th Anniversary Gift Arceus, that Arceus could only be attained in Diamond and Pearl in the Hall of Origin. This was obviously not the case, and if I can be quite honest, I believe this mistake opened a whole new age of Pokemon game hacking. So many of us wanted to do the Azora Flute event to get that secret Pokemon, and to be honest, I even ended up cheating to get him. One event though that did not have any cheating involved was really cool, and it was in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. There was an amazing Arceus event in the Ruins of Alf. If an Arceus is in your player's party, you will be able to summon an egg of either Palkia, Dialga, or Garatina. Not only do you get this awesome Pokemon, but the cutscene and visuals were ahead of Pokemon's time. Those of you who remember this know exactly what I'm talking about. Arceus' name origin is pretty amazing, as shown on Bulbapedia. Arceus may be a combination of Arch, most extreme or highest, Archon, a Greek word that means ruler or lord, Arcanus, Latin for secret or mystery, Archaic, meaning ancient, Greek for the beginning, or Artipus, Latin for original, and I think that's how you say that. Dias, Latin for god, it may have also derived from Arius, golden in reference to the hooves and wheels. Basically, the Pokemon Company are masters of name manipulation and word origin. In my opinion, Arceus' direct representation and the original origin of this Pokemon is this. I'm not going to try to pronounce it, but on screen, this is a figure from Buddhism. This being is either pictured with 11 heads and 1,000 arms. If you refer back to the Pokedex from Diamond, 
The entry states, It is described in mythology as the Pokemon that shaped the universe with its 1,000 arms. See the similarities? With this being said, it only makes sense why Arceus is the only Pokemon in the Pokemon world that can learn the move Judgment. I guess the Pokemon Company is still going to work on including more information as time goes on. Maybe we will find out some new things in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Thank you guys for watching the origin of Arceus. I hope you enjoyed it. Like always, Pokemon fans, take it easy. Peace out.